If you missed out on the cannabis rush, don't even worry about it because I've got three psilocybin magic mushroom stocks that you are going to want to know about before this next gold rush takes off. Here we go. Okay guys, so the three companies that we're gonna look at today are Mind Medicine, Champignon Brands, and Revive Therapeutics. Now, before we get into that, please consider liking and subscribing. My only goal here is to help you make more money by giving you free content to trade the market a little bit better and hopefully offer you a couple of suggestions. So please consider hitting that subscribe button. I sincerely appreciate it. Now, before we start talking about these three companies, we just have to cover the industry a little bit. So these three companies are all playing in a new space that didn't exist before. It used to be illegal to test all of these molecules and compounds that are in LSD, magic mushrooms, and things like that because they were basically banned substances and completely illegal. In recent years, that has changed, and these companies are now trying to isolate those molecules and put them into a format that can be delivered to patients when prescribed. So the goal here is not a recreational market like cannabis. However, we are basically taking illegal substances, making them legal, putting them through a process and testing them for medical benefits, and then trying to format them and capitalize on them in the end. So that is the goal with these three companies. And all of them are playing in this basically psilocybin, MDMA, LSD, ketamine space where everything used to be illegal and now they have access to it and as long as they can test it prove medical benefits and get fda approval they have an opportunity to create new drugs that used to be illegal and therefore all these large pharma companies never had access to it and these younger companies can be a little bit more agile a little bit more active and hopefully get these drugs through quickly and get to market faster so that is the goal here with these companies now let's get into the financials first Okay, so I've built a little Excel sheet here. If you guys are interested in any resources, how I trade courses, anything like that, visit ZachHartley.com. Everything is online there for you. But let's get into this. So Mind Medicine in this column, Champignon, and then Revive. The ticker for these companies is right here. So MMED, SHRM, RVV. They're all Canadian companies, so they're based in Canada. They either trade on over-the-counter markets, on the venture exchange, or on the Canadian exchange. So you'll have to kind of play with that a little bit, depending on where you're located. Now, the current price of these is all 25 to 50 cents so they're super cheap you can get in really easily and the market cap of these does vary a little bit so as you can see champignon brands and revive therapeutics are almost even they're pretty much exactly 40 million dollar companies whereas mind medicine is definitely the bigger player in the space almost three four times the size of the other two companies and so they're worth about 160 million dollars right now however they have had a huge run up over the last couple of days i luckily capitalized on that if you saw any of my latest videos I made a video about two days ago highlighting why you might want to buy MindMed, and since then I'm up 12.5% on that position just since releasing that video. So you should definitely check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Subtle flex, don't worry about it. Anyways. That is where we're at. So MindMed is definitely the big player here in terms of market cap. However, none of these companies have any revenue. So as you can see here, zero reported revenue for MindMed, zero reported revenue for Revive Therapeutics, and Champignon Brands actually reported $316. So usually these, these numbers and these financials are, uh, are summed up and rounded to the thousands, but uh, they actually reported $316. So here it is as you can see so assets revenues and you can see here revenues they reported 316 dollars i've never seen that before i think it's pretty funny um but that's kind of cool and whatever it was i don't know what the hell they sold but it cost them 196 dollars to sell it so and this is expressed in canadian dollars so i'm not even like i don't think i'm wrong here if i am leave a comment below but i just think that's kind of funny so $316 in revenue for this these guys. So basically nobody has any revenue yet because nobody has gotten to the point where they've actually commercialized and been able to sell any of these drugs. I would say Revive Therapeutics is the closest because they do have one drug that's being tested and given to patients right now. The uh, Everything else is in trial phase right now. So that's where we're at with our terms of revenue. However, the cash position is much, much different. As you can see, Mind Medicine has a huge, huge cash position. They have investors like Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank and Dragon's Den. They also have Bruce Linton, who's the old CEO and founder of Canopy Growth Corporation, the big cannabis company in Canada, not doing so well right now, but um, that's uh, that's our up to opinion, I guess. So they've got tons of cash in the bank. They've got a good investor base. They've got lots of money to run. They have very little debt. They've got a great current ratio. They're, they're, two, they're uh, 10 times or whatever. 
um, 12 times the current ratio. So they look absolutely phenomenal. They got tons of room to grow and when you go to their website, you can actually see here how many um, different types of drugs they have in trials. So they have an LSD anxiety drug in phase 2B right now. They have an LSD suicide and headaches drug in 2A. They've got a couple more in 2A. And then they've got an MDMA and a DMT drug in phase 1A. So they are making progress on this. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six different drugs in the pipeline right now. And they've got tons of cash to basically afford it all the way through in case one or two of the drugs don't work out so I really like that right now they've got a ton of great cash position I'll just show you the other websites right now so this is MindMed. this is champignon brands if you guys want to see it they got a nice little video kind of explaining the company really good they do say they have revenue in this video I wouldn't classify $316 as revenue but um, we also haven't seen financials in a couple of months so I'm looking forward to the next set from these guys um, and then depending on what market you're on so you can see Canadian Stock Exchange SHRM now one thing that's cool about these guys is that they also purchased a mushroom grower. So this is Artisan Growers. They're located in BC. And as you can see, they grow mushrooms. And Champignon Brands actually purchased these guys. So outright, they now own them and they're vertically integrated, meaning that they basically control the supply chain of their mushrooms, hopefully can turn them into an FDA approved drug and then market them and sell them around the world. So that would be the goal. That, that would be something really unique that currently right now, nobody else is going for. Okay, so the third company I want to show you is Revive Therapeutics. Now, these guys originally started in cannabis with a huge focus on the medical side, but since then have pivoted recently to focus on the psilocybin-based therapies and other drugs that they can use and commercialize. And they have a great pipeline. So busulamine is one of their drugs for infectious diseases, actually for COVID-19, and is currently in phase three, so they have a great opportunity there. They have two drugs that are in preclinical that are focused on psilocybin, and they have another drug that is focused on CBD that is currently in filing right now. So they do have a good pipeline. They've got a great list of patents and they've got opportunities for the psilocybin space and they're actively administering certain drugs right now. So I do like that. I think they've got a great opportunity ahead of them and I like all of these. Now let's go back to the financials and cover some of the updates. So for Mind Medicine, you can see here that they've actually applied to the NASDAQ. So I really like that because I think it's going to give them some legitimacy and open them up to a larger audience of investors. They also have multiple drugs in the pipeline as I highlighted on their website. They actually have six different drugs and they have several trial first, meaning that they're pushing the boundaries of what has been done before. And that's what I really like to see with these companies. That's how you find breakthroughs. So second company here is Champignon Brands. Recently, they just launched the ketamine drug and it is being used. Like I said before, they also purchased a mushroom grow facility. So that's really cool. And then with regards to Revive Therapeutics, this is really cool. They just developed a thin film psilocybin. So, you know, those like crest breath strips you would put on your tongue and they would dissolve the exact same idea except with psilocybin instead of mint for instance and so they can administer these drugs through a thin film and that is much easier there's no injection there's no pills there's no nothing it's just a film that goes on your tongue and dissolves in a couple of minutes so i think that is super unique they're focused on both cannabis and psychedelics and revive also has a large patent portfolio where they could sell the ip at a later date as well so that's what the financials and the news looks like now let's jump into the stock charts Okay, so this is MindMed, and as you can see, we've got some support around that 28 to 30 cent mark, and over the last six days, we've had a huge run up from about 35 cents up to 56 cents, so over a 50% run in the last six days. However, we are not at the high that we set back in April. For some weird reason, we had two days where the stock just went crazy and it went all the way up to $1 before coming right back down to where it traded before, and for the last basically four or five months, we've traded in this channel of basically 35 to 45 cents and just in the last three days we've had a breakout so there's been drastic moves on mind met and it is one that you're going to want to watch pretty closely if you're interested in getting in okay the next chart i want to look at is revive therapeutics this is the company with all of the patents and focused on cannabis as you can see they've had a nice little run-up about six months ago they were trading at 12 cents 10 cents and today they're trading at 25 cents so they've had a great run-up they had a high of over 45 cents at the beginning of august they dropped back down to 25 and for the last month it's been a very 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 tight consolidation range as you can see right here it hasn't broke above 30 cents for the last month and so it could be bound for a breakup How However, if it breaks down below 25 cents, I'm a little bit worried about it and I'm probably gonna hold off until we see a rebound. If it breaks above that 30 cent mark, that's when I would say it's probably a good time to get in. Now, the last chart I wanna look at is Champignon Brands. However, they don't have it on stock charts, so 
I'm just going to type it in to Yahoo and we're going to look at it here. So let's go to the chart and we're going to go to six months. So as you can see, this company as well had a big major run up here back in March, April, May kind of area. They hit a high of $1.60 and they have fallen back down to 42 cents. They hit a low of 27 cents basically at the beginning of September here and since then they have rebounded. So interesting, interesting stock charts on all of these. MindMed is the one seeing the big breakout right now. Champignon Brands and Revive are both in sort of a downtrend and we haven't seen a whole lot going on with them. Actually. I mean, Champignons had a nice little run up here from, from 27 to 50. Let's see what the last month looks like. Okay, so yeah, they've actually had a great run up here. They went from the 27 to the 50, and then just today has been a little bit of a pullback. So big run up on Champignon, big run up on MindMed as well. However, not a huge run up on Revive. So that's what we're looking at right now. In terms of company analysis, I would say your safe bet is probably in MindMed. If this works out, I think they're most well positioned. And if it doesn't work out or this whole process, takes longer than we thought. I think they're most well positioned for that scenario as well. After that, I like Champignon because they have a couple of things in their pipeline. And lastly, I like Revive Therapeutics because I think they're a little bit more reliant on the technicals and the IP and cannabis. And I like more of the pure psilocybin and, and basically drug development play. So my number one is MindMed, my number two is Champignon, and my number three is Revive Therapeutics. But if you want diversification and you want exposure to all three of them, it makes sense to buy all three of them. Otherwise, Hold off, save your money, wait for a little bit of a dip and buy in when the stocks go lower. If you guys got any value out of this, please consider subscribing. It sincerely helps me out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Here we go.